The Hadley Institute for the Blind and Visually Impaired presents iFocus, tips on using the vision accessibility features in iOS. In today's installment, we'll look at accessing the Zoom controller. Hello, my name is Douglas Walker. Today, we will be checking out our Zoom controller. Now, our Zoom controller is already running, and uh, we know this because we have our Zoom controller icon right here on our desktop. Now, we aren't going to discuss in today's video how to turn on our Zoom controller feature because we just so happen to have an iFocus video called Accessing the Zoom Quick Menus, and it's going to show us exactly how to turn on our Zoom controller. So uh, we might just want to check out that video as well. Now, we see that we have our small floating icon here on our screen, and uh, this is our Zoom controller icon. Now, this icon is going to be visible on our desktop or across any of our open apps. And our Zoom controller really gives us a whole new way of interacting with most of our Zoom features. And this means that we no longer have to go digging through all of our settings menus to get to our accessibility settings. And uh, I tell you, that is pretty great. Now, our first Zoom controller gesture is just, just simply tap it. Uh, and one simple tap will bring up our Zoom quick menus. So uh, how about we give it a try? Uh, we'll go ahead and just tap our Zoom controller icon here. And we'll just tap. All right, now we've been presented with our Zoom quick menu. And uh, remember, we have an iFocus video called Accessing the Zoom Quick Menu. And uh, I tell you, you're really gonna wanna check out that video as well. You know, it really is super great that we can access our Zoom Quick Menu from right here in our Zoom controller. All right, we'll just tap now anywhere on our screen to close or dismiss our Zoom Quick Menu here. And uh, we'll just tap. Okay, our second Zoom controller gesture is to just simply tap our Zoom controller icon two times. So uh, let's give it a try. And uh, we'll just double tap our controller icon. And uh, there you go. Our entire screen is now visible. And uh, if we double tap our controller again, and uh, we'll do just that. Yeah, we see that our entire screen is now magnified again. All right, so that's a really handy way to quickly be able to jump in and back out of Zoom. Okay, let's check out our last controller gesture. And this is our drag to pan gesture. Now, we'll want to use this gesture when our screen is zoomed in, of course, just like it is right now. And our pan gesture will give us the ability to pan or move around on our screen. And this means that our controller icon is going to act a lot like a joystick that allows us to move around. So uh, let's check out exactly how this works. Now, we'll just touch our controller, and then we'll immediately start moving our finger towards the direction that we want to begin moving. Okay, so let's give it a try. And uh, here we go. We'll just touch and hold and then move. All right, we're moving to the left, of course, and then if we pull our finger up, we notice that our zoom controller actually enlarges for us so we can see a little bit better here. We pull down our screen and move close to where we were earlier, and we'll just lift our finger there. We've panned around our screen. You know, our pan gesture kind of takes a bit of practice to get used to. However, it's a super cool way of being able to move around our screen. Okay, the last thing that we're going to check out today is how to move our Zoom controller to a different location on our screen. You know, we might want to move our Zoom controller icon if maybe it happens to be hovering over an area that we want to see. Now, moving our controller icon is super easy. All we need to do is touch and just hold it for a couple of seconds, and uh, then we can just drag it anywhere that we like. So uh, let's give it a try. We'll just touch and hold. Now, remember the key here is to hold. And uh, then we can just drag or move it around our desktop. And uh, once we get it where we want, we simply just lift our finger. 
You know, it really is so great that our Zoom controller icon gives us a whole new way of accessing some of our most frequently used Zoom features. Again, my name is Douglas Walker. Take care, and I'll see you next time. For more from the iFocus series, including many other topics of interest to individuals with vision loss, visit the videos at Hadley page on the Hadley Institute for the Blind and Visually Impaired website at www.hadley.edu.